welcome back to my YouTube channel. Okay, so today I am doing a dorm room tour plus move out. I kind of did the same style video last year when I moved out of my freshman year dorm. And I was planning on doing like two separate videos, but then I've been really busy with school and just never got around to it. So I figured I would do it all together. Plus the room tour I feel like won't even take that long because it's a small dorm room. There's not that much to show. So yeah, I will just give y'all a tour around my dorm. I live in the Stubbs residential dorm at Long with University and the Stubbs dorm typically is mainly for sororities. I am in Zeta Alpha chapter here at Longwood and I am living in the presidential suite which the, it's kind of different on every floor if you come here to Longwood and join a sorority and all that. Um, some floors everyone lives in the triple which is like a triple suite but I just live in like a singular suite so it's just me and my roommate and we have our own bathroom and it's like a bigger room so we really lucked out with this room it's like one of the best rooms in Stubbs. We love it so much. So much room and we had so much privacy. You still live right across the hall from the rest of your sorority sisters, so you still get that bond and all that. And then you have the chapter room right there, which we weren't even able to use the chapter room this year because of COVID for some reason. So, but I still got really close to everyone and I absolutely love this room. I love the way I decorated it. So I'm really excited to show y'all. Hey! Hi guys, it's Jess. This is Vegas' room, my favorite room. And this is the bed that I cuddle big on. No, no, we don't cuddle. <laughs> I'm so sad to leave this. Okay, so yeah, I'm about to show y'all my room tour. Should be really fun. But before I get into that, I just want to say that I am so sorry that I didn't make any vlogs this year. That was like one of my big goals, and I only made a vlog the first week. But then I had a really hard first semester, and I really just hated Longwood this year, like so much. Longwood made it so intolerable to be here. I spent a lot of time at home actually. The second semester was a lot better than the first semester. I definitely was thinking about transferring a lot. And this doesn't really have anything to do with like friends or any of that type of thing. It's really just Longwood made it so hard to be here and be happy. I think that they approached the whole COVID situation in the worst way possible. Yeah, Longwood made it really awful, and I really was this close to transferring, but I really fell back in love with it the past like two months, I think, and I've had a really good like past semester overall. I just switched my major, and life at Longwood is going really well right now, even though I'm about to move out, so I decided to stay, and I'm really excited for next year, and I think it'll be like 10 times better when I'm living off campus, and I like am living with all my friends, and I just think it'll be better because I'll have like a separate space from just being on campus all the time. So yeah, that's my little rant. I still love Longwood. I'm, I'm learning to love it again, but I really had a bad relationship with it this past year. Yeah, that was kind of chaotic, but just wanted to give y'all a little insight of what was going on with me this year and why I didn't post any vlogs because I literally love doing vlogs and it's so much fun. And I remember some freshmen would come up to me this year like, are you doing any vlogs? And nope, because I was terrified of getting in trouble again. Okay, so now I'm going to get into the tour. I hope y'all like it. Still come to Longwood, just, I think COVID made it really hard for me, but I still do really love Longwood. I loved it my freshman year before COVID. I just think they could have handled things differently overall, but you know, I guess everyone is learning. And yeah, so let's get into the room tour. Hello everyone, welcome to my room in the presidential suite in Stubbs, floor two. Okay, so first I will show you the main part of the room, which is the room. Um, let's see. So this is my bed, obviously. Um, I have this white duvet cover on it. Well, there's like a duvet insert and I have the cover. I found it like 10 times easier to wash than like the normal comforter. So I suggest doing that, some blue sheets. And then I have this really good mattress pad. I don't know if you can tell, but it's like really squishy. But yeah, I have this fuzzy blanket. Got it from Target, I think. Um, all of these I think might be from Target. I'm not really 100% sure. Actually, these are pillow covers and they're from Amazon. But I think this is from Target. So then next is my picture wall. I used to have a lot more pictures up here. Like there were a bunch down here, but they just slowly fell and I just never put them back up. These are basically all from Pinterest and how I just like came up with the vibe because I really wanted it to like 
go well together. I just started like pinning a couple and then Pinterest has like suggested ones that are similar. I kind of just wanted the same like color scheme and it's kind of just like bright like pastels and then I have some quotes in there that I really like. And then this is like my favorite mirror ever. It's like this round antique kind of mirror and I originally got it from the thrift store and it was like this weird brown like chipping paint like color so I bought it for like ten dollars and like wiped it off and then spray painted it with like a gold spray paint and I feel like it turned out really well like I love this mirror gonna be using it in my next room and I think it just really fits the vibe really well oh yeah and then this on my going back to my bed this is fluffy my boyfriend got him for me anyways <laughs> it's hot mm -hmm. Okay, so then this is my desk area, probably my favorite part of the room. I always post like little pictures on it. Um, I'll add some pictures at the end of this video of, that I've taken of my room throughout time because it's like, I just always love taking pictures of my room. But I always take pictures of this area because it is my favorite. So the desks were originally like this brown wood, like how it looks right here, but all around. And I really just wanted more like white in the room and it to look like brighter and cleaner. So I got this white contact paper that's like kind of this like wood look and put it on here. And I surprisingly did all of this by myself. I mean, it's not the best, but it definitely makes it look better and it helps protect it. And then also if it gets messed up, like I've replaced it twice. So you can always like do it like once a semester, but I definitely think it's worth it. And it's really cheap. I'll link it down below. I got it off of Amazon. And then all of this is like a bunch of little random things. This is a desk hutch I also got off of Amazon. I'll link it down below. I think desk hutches are like a necessity if you have a dorm. They really come in handy for books or just like holding things. And I think it just makes it a lot more like fun and not just plain and cluttered. I have my journals right here and some books that I like. A note from my big. Um, all of these little base things are all thrifted. And that's why I, I suggest if you want like little things like this to like hold sunglasses or random things, definitely go to the thrift store. They have a ton of little things like that. And like each of these are like a couple dollars. And I think they're really fun and unique and you can't find them anywhere else. So this is my little glasses holder and I will hold my glasses in here, but also little random rings. This is this little like lettuce thing. This thing is so cute. I love it so much. And I hold my We're Not Really Stranger cards in there, which if you have never played this game, it is the best. If you want to get closer to people and get really down to earth, then I 10 out of 10 recommend. Link it down below. This is just a cool little antique vase, which I love this. This is just a perfume I never really used, but I think it looks really simplistic, so I put it right here. Another orange vase. And then I have all of my crystals on here. Recently got into crystals and I really like them, so I really like displaying them up here. Sometimes I'll put them in my windowsill, which you're supposed to do on a full moon. But yeah, here are all my little baby crystals. I think I might be missing some somewhere. And then up top I have this little disco ball, which I really suggest putting disco balls all over your room because it's so pretty when the sun hits just right because it just makes everything all illuminated. Um, have some more crystals up here. This is a little cactus I've been taking care of, which when I moved in it was like about this tall. So it's grown a little bit. This bottle is an antique bottle that we found at my house and I just put some fake plant on the top. This is a mason jar with flowers that my boyfriend gave me for Valentine's Day and they're all dead now but I kind of like the look of it so I've just kept it up here and I'll probably like keep the flowers and do something with them. This is an antique frame that I got from the thrift store and I printed out this film picture that I took a couple weeks ago and put it up here and I think it looks really cute. It's my boyfriend Chase. And right here is one of my favorite things in the room. It's this painting and it's all floral looking and pastel and I think it just really fits the vibe really well. I have these little shelving thing and I use these in my freshman year dorm. I probably won't use them next year, but they come really in handy. These are from Five Below and I just put this plant, which is from Ikea, it's a fake plant, but I really like how it hangs down and adds some dramatics, I guess. And then I have another one of these up here and then this is from the thrift store and this is from Ikea and just going along with the whole like floral greenery theme. So I have this on the side, it's a San Pellegrino bottle that me and my cousins used when we went on a picnic. So every time I look at it, it gives me a really good vibe. And then on the other side, I, have, I keep my hydro flask right here sometimes. I have some cute notes that my friends left me. And then right here is a picture of three girls having a tea party, with really antique pastel vibes. I got this from the thrift store, really love that. And then this is another thing I found at my house. 
and I just put some Ikea flowers in it and I feel like this all just really goes really well together and I really liked how this whole area turned out and then this is a little fruffled blanket thing that I also got from Ikea and I just keep it on the back of my chair because I feel like the chair looks really ugly without it so it just makes it look more white and go with the rest of the room and I normally keep my purse like right here on the side of the chair and then under my desk I just have this random bin that I keep random stuff in it's like a junk drawer and this is just like a junk drawer too and then down there I have some trays that I use for when I eat then I normally keep my book bag like right here okay so this is my clothing rack one of my other favorite parts of the room everyone always compliments it but I don't really have that much on here right now right now it's mainly like greens and whites but I like to just put like the cuter clothes on here but also if I'm like going somewhere special and I have like a bunch of dresses, it's good to like lay them out on here. Clothing racks really just come in handy and then it, if you don't have a lot of closet space, like I have had this thing completely filled up before, it's so helpful. And I also keep bags, like my camera, stuff like that on the side, the scarf. But I mainly keep my bags on here too, so it really just has like a ton of storage. And then at the bottom, there are a bunch of shoes I keep up here, which is convenient because there really isn't anywhere else I think I would keep my shoes because my closet's kind of full. So I really like this. We have this gray rug under, which I think the rug might be from Target. This clothing rack is from Ikea and it was like $12. So cheap and it took me like 20 minutes to assemble. And I love this thing. I have one at home. I'm gonna have one in my room next year. And then this is my roommate's little car. She doesn't really have that much stuff in it, but we just put it in this corner. I have my tripod right there. So now this is the other side of the room. This is my roommate's side. I'm not gonna go like too in depth into that. So this is my mini fridge area, I guess you could say. And this is my mini fridge and it's kind of messy right now, but it holds a lot of stuff. It doesn't have a freezer though, which I suggest getting one with a freezer. And I have this microwave. We just put plates up top. Here's my matcha. Um, they just have random stuff over there. This is our bin of like junk, I guess, like that's like food related. So we just throw random stuff in there. Clearly we aren't like that organized, we just throw stuff in there, but it works. And then this wall I am obsessed with. We made this at the beginning of the year, but these are a bunch of graphics. I made most of them, there's very, I didn't make this one or this one I think, but I made pretty much all of the rest of them. And I really, I really like making graphics, so it's really cool to see them all up here, and they're all like Zeta related. A couple are missing. I guess they fell behind here. These are our dressers. And the way this room was originally set up, everything was like separate, and my like bed wasn't against that wall. But we really wanted like a different feel for it, so we pushed these dressers together, and we put this white contact paper, the same like wooden style, up here because again, like it brightens up the room and it also protects it. And I really liked how this turned out. It looks really clean. And we have the TV, which of course you should get a TV. And then I use a Amazon Fire Stick for like all my stuff and works really well. I have this like pink cowboy hat I got. I don't even know what I got it for. Um, and then here's a bunch of plants. I'm pretty sure this is an IKEA plant with an IKEA pot. This is from the thrift store. I have no clue where this is from. Um, this is like one of those letter boards and we just put in that's on the slam and this is from five below a lot of the stuff I had in my dorm last year actually and this is like a little succulent candle really cute another little vintage antique uh, bottle with stuff from Ikea and then this is also from Ikea so clearly I got a lot of things from Ikea so this is like my little messy area this cart is from Ikea and I used it last year too and it comes in so much handy. I think it's only like $30 but it can hold so much stuff and it's cute. I basically have a ton of medicines up here, perfume, a bunch of miscellaneous things like a speaker, my milk frother, really random. And then down here is other random stuff like mask, makeup palette, beanies, and then I have like dishes and stuff down here. But that's basically it that's on this. So for this little area, I thought it was like so boring and I was like, I don't know what to put here. So I got these square mirrors and they come in a pack of four and it's like $15 for all these from Ikea, of course. Really cheap, they're kind of dirty right now. But I like, am really glad how this turned out because I use this all the time to like look. So it just gives you a different angle besides our other mirror. Oh my gosh, I forgot to show you all the mirror. Hold on, let's show the mirror. Okay, so I completely forgot. This is right next to my bed but I have this full mirror that I think I got from TJ Maxx, Marshalls, one of those places. 
and definitely suggest getting a good big size mirror because that's just like something you're gonna need and you have this little blue rug under it just to like keep it stable but yeah comes in a lot of handy so many alpha pictures taken in this so yeah going back to these mirrors love them they're really fun even if you just use one somewhere and like one in another place but i really like how i made this like long mirror type of thing and came in a lot of handy i like i do my like makeup here so on this side we have this other little mirror thing and it has these little knobs which really came in handy and we would hang masks on here or our keys and it's just another really good thing to have so right here's my closet it's kind of messy and full but there is a ton of closet room, way more than I had in my freshman year. There's room up there too, and I just have like miscellaneous things. I have this little thing for like other random shoes. Um, my hamper goes down there. And then I have another junk bin where I have a bunch of random stuff. But yeah, this is a really big and nice closet. I'm going to miss it next year. And I think it's a really good sized closet for the dorm, which I know no matter what room you have in stuffs, everyone has a closet like this. So if you're moving to stuffs next year, expect something like this. And I definitely have so many clothes I don't wear here. Like half the time, like this thing would be like empty. So ton of room, really thankful for that. And then my roommate's closet is right here. I'm not gonna open it, but they're right next to each other. And we have this little like industrial closet. We never really use it. It has like cleaning supplies, vacuum, drying rack, which I really suggest getting a drying rack. Like you're going to need a drying rack. Um, we have a fan, but we mainly just have a bunch of like little random things in here. Nothing too exciting. So lastly is the bathroom. And we actually have a really good sized bathroom. And it's just for the two of us, so it doesn't even need to be that big. So one of the first things we got for the bathroom is this little storage tier thing. And my roommate stuff would go up here. And then mine is down here. And then we have like heat stuff down there. And then we have these two bars right here, which we never used really for towels. We hung our towels up here on these little things we got for the closet, which I found a lot more helpful. And now heading to the rest of the bathroom. This is my curlers. And I'll just keep this on the side over here. But I recently got this, so I haven't really had this here all year. Um, this is just where we would keep cotton balls and cotton swaps and this is a little cute lemon plant from Ikea. This is from Marshalls I believe and it's just a soap container but I really like this. I might use it again next year, I'm not really sure but it goes really well, really just like sleek and clean. So this is where we would keep our toothbrushes and I think it went really well because it has two separate containers and then I would keep like cotton pads right here and then we got these command strip things, whatever they're, whatever they're called, and we hung them up right here so we could hang our towels up, and it's just nice to have another rack for towels because they didn't really provide that many, so it was good to have some extras. Here's a sink. I have some sponges here that I would use to clean dishes. Um, these are the two rugs we got. We originally had another white rug right there, but it got really dirty, so I got this gray one. And this white one's pretty dirty too, but I just didn't feel like getting an another new one. But I suggest definitely getting like a colored rug because white gets extremely dirty from shoes and all that. This is the toilet. Nothing too exciting. Got this little toilet brush thing. This is the shower, which is honestly really small, but it's not that big of a deal because it's just the two of us, like I've said. And we got this little rack thing, which it doesn't really fit our shower well at all. Like it's constantly falling, like there's stuff all over the ground. And it's kind of messy, sorry I didn't clean up but we just have a bunch of random shower stuff on it. But if you are living in stubs, any of the bathrooms, I suggest getting some sort of storage for inside the shower so everything isn't on the ground. And for inside the shower, we put some more of these command strip things to hang these loofahs. And I got this for my razor, but they also have these little things that you can put some stuff on. Definitely suggest adding some stuff for storage, just, just so everything isn't hanging all over. And we have this get naked sign, it's really cute. I'm um, sure y'all have seen that everywhere. I think my roommate got that. And then this is just a basic white shower curtain we got. And yeah, that's about it for the bathroom. Still nothing too exciting at all. Okay, so that is it for the tour. Sorry that's really rushed and I'm like speaking really fast and I'm really hot right now because I'm really out of breath. But yeah, that's the tour, nothing too exciting. This is my room, loved it. It is such a good dorm room. If you have the chance, I would definitely suggest trying to get a spot in the presidential. I had such good experiences in here. And I really like the way that I decorated it, but I cannot wait to decorate my room next year. It's gonna be so cute, I am so pumped. So now we are going to start the move out process. This might take a while, but I'll probably just do a bunch of time lapses. 
So let's go. Sushi. We're about to go get sushi. So you want the hibachi? Yeah. 